up everybody it's been a little while since I put out some content and um, doing pretty well here hope the same goes for you and everyone in your life as uh, we navigate some pretty interesting and crazy times here especially in the United States but pretty much across the entire world one of the more uh, recent videos I put out was with regard to the Great Reset, transhumanism, some fairly uh, controversial and some may say conspiratorial topics, and I just kind of wanted to, I don't know, address some of that stuff again as we see th the Great Reset especially becoming a little bit more mainstream now. It was early August when I put out the video and I first was kind of learning about that whole initiative and now you have like mainstream media uh, and various commentators and pundits like Tim Poole from Timcast, he's been talking about the Great Reset quite a bit recently. And I've noticed my video on that topic has been getting significantly more views just over the past week or two than it was before. And uh, doesn't seem like there's really any deviation from the global elite's plan to follow through with their wishes to kind of reset global capitalism and society on on several levels and I actually uh, basically doing the same job that I was before but for a different company very large Indian tech consultancy firm and during my onboarding process with them we were going through kind of like how they do business how they approach business operations and such and they have this model called Business 4.0, which I didn't really think much of it, but uh, in one of the actual presentations, they start to talk about the fourth industrial revolution and incorporating a lot of those concepts and uh, theories, things of that nature, stuff that all kind of points back to the Great Reset into how they do business. So I thought that was pretty interesting, kind of alarming, but what do you expect? It's essentially the global corporations that are um, going to be pushing forth this agenda of a reset of sorts. And what we're seeing more and more of is small businesses that are just crumbling under, under the pressure of lockdowns and the constraints that are put upon them due to the pandemic. And this, you know, it's not really any sort of conspiracy. This is what's open, openly being discussed by the World Economic Forum and various stakeholders that have a vested interest in that initiative. I recently, I guess it wasn't too recently, but before the election I'd be driving around neighborhoods and see the, the Biden-Harris signs. And uh, they said, build back better. And I was just kind of like, I had no idea what the, the context of that was. And then just under some recent research that I did found it is tied back to a United Nations initiative from 2016-2017. I'll, I'll put a link to that document in the description below, but uh, it's all about like rehabilitation, reconstruction, disaster recovery, which that's like Biden's slogan. It's a slogan of a lot of politicians and various groups across the world, obviously, since it's a United Nations initiative. 
And I just thought that was really, you know, the timing and how that coincides with these open plans for a great reset. Uh, how all of that comes together and kind of essentially falls under the same umbrella is weird. <laughs> is it weird? Is it coincidence? Is it all planned? I don't know, but... I wouldn't necessarily consider the United States at this point in such a dire situation that a presidential campaign slogan to build back better, which ties to countries that are facing like extreme disaster, uh, which is outlined in that in that document, they pretty much say to, to sum it up. The societies and countries that are ravaged from some sort of disaster are in a better place to build back better. So rebuild their society with better infrastructure, uh, just from the ground up in many different ways. You can read through and see for yourself. Um, obviously the pandemic has devastated several areas of industry in the U.S., but things were seeming to recover fairly well economically, and now with looming widespread lockdowns, it just seems as though um, that <laughs> slogan could very well apply to the United States in ways that we kind of foresaw earlier in the year, but thought maybe things are kind of taming a little bit with regard to infections and death and weren't too sure if there'd be a resurgence that would lead to a, w a widespread lockdown but it's very difficult to see what is being pushed by a lot of politicians in terms of needing to lock down for an extended period of time and uh, try to imagine that we're going to be in any sort of a normal state anytime soon. Especially when you take into account that like Fauci and various other people say we won't really return to normal until like the third quarter of 2021. It makes me ask myself and just other people who are living through this, which is everyone, what is that going to leave us with over the next year? Economically, it's really difficult to look at the prospect of being in this abnormal operational state leading to anything other than like a devastation of many, many areas of economic commerce and society. So the Build Back Better piece, the Great Reset, small business in my opinion is facing extremely large hurdles and challenges here and should we all be pushed towards some, side of, some sort of widespread lockdown? the prospect of corporations benefiting is extremely high. And I've heard it said many ways, but ultimately this transfer of wealth from lower class to upper class and corporate elites is, is pretty undeniable. When you're forcing everyone to stay in, when you're forcing small businesses to close and the capital flows to the large corporations, you're essentially left with a transfer of wealth to a few corporations that are led by global elites, and it's those corporations and elites <laughs> who are the stakeholders in the Great Reset. Hope you're doing well, enjoyed this, and uh, if anything... <laughs> spurs you to go out and do a little bit more research for yourself so that you can learn and continue to grow as individuals. Take care. Peace.